Howdy folks, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Maker. How are we doing today? I am... I'm sick. <laughs> I'm starting to get over it, but I have had a flu all weekend, which was no fun. So, I haven't... Uh, and I haven't played this world in about a week. Hey, back inside. There you go. Um, nothing to do with me being sick. Well, I might have played some yesterday if I was feeling better, but... Uh, last week, Mojang released the 14W28A and B snapshots. Oh, it's ready for harvesting. Um, which, uh, I got a little spooked by the previous week's snapshot releases. Who turned my clouds back on? Um, yeah, and, and I made a mistake. I have a, I have a server, it's a private server that I maintain for the kids, my, uh, ne nephews and nieces and kids of, uh, friends to play and build, uh, fun Minecraft things on, and, uh, it is running 1.7.10. And I started playing the snapshots in this uh, in this world a while ago. Whoa, frames, frames! There we go. Oh, I, I and I've complained a bit about that stuttering the the frame lag spikes or whatever you call it. I think what it is because I've seen it happen now, coinciding with these little little uh, stutters is spawning new new beasties so mostly zombie pigmen um, I'm pretty sure that's what all that is all about and the reason it, it changed location coming around that corner approaching the stairway there is because I slabbed everything up so now this the pigmen have to spawn in different places and so it sort of happens you know different places than it did before Anyway, so, uh, public server running 1.7.10. Um, so I was, I was playing with one of the, uh, the kids on the server. We were building uh, a fire truck and an ice cream truck and a few things. He was, had been watching uh, Corrales' uh, YouTube channel and doing some of his uh, building tutorials, which is pretty cool. And, uh, and then I went, after I was done with that, I went and I loaded up this world and I forgot to switch to the profile for the snapshot. And that was a bad mistake. Oh, and yes, uh, coming here without any potions was another bad mistake, which I will have to rectify. Let me drop some of the stuff off and I'll go back. And I'll edit stuff out because you don't need to see me traversing this whole path three more times. Um... So anyway, I loaded up this world in 1.7.10. Screwed everything up. My inventory completely emptied out. All the things in the item frames and the storage area all popped off. It was bad. It was just bad, 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 bad. So, um, so I had to roll back to an earlier save, which was, uh, you know, good thing I was back. I was backing up backing up my world but um i hadn't backed up in the session previous and it was uh had been whoops playing on a sunday and it was an all pretty much an all day long thing we're having kind of a lazy sunday and um yeah it was so situation was no good and let's see i should have at least one fire resistance i have two good places here this bucket can go in here because i don't need it here Okay, and we got plenty of torches. All right. So, and I had gone. I was mining. I was trying to to get some cobblestone. Spooky sound. I was trying to get some cobblestone. I like alternating between mining because I get other resources at the same time when I do it, and using the cobblestone generator. And is it still good down there? I was watching, sorry, I'm all ADD today. I was watching, um, I was editing one of the previous episodes, and I believe that over this way, 
if I curve around, I didn't actually go slab all the floors. I may have come back and slab. I know I slabbed them later, but, and hopefully I went in and made sure I did all the dead ends, but it didn't look like it, I had. So that was kind of a bad situation. Oh, look, we got blazes. On. We got a ton of them. Oh, goodness gracious. The spawner is working. Yes, indeed. Okay. Hello, guys. How are you? Give me your blaze rods. Oh, I have to be careful, don't I? I don't want to accidentally... Tag a zombie pig man. All right. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa. Okay, thank you. Hello, Mr. Pigman. How are you doing today? I'm doing all right. Oh, hang on a second. Sorry about that. Oh, I hear a ghost. And then this layer. See, I finished out this layer, and I'm really upset that I lost all that work. Oh, hello. I'm never going to reach you, so I'm not even going to bother trying. All right. So anyway, um, so I'm going to have to come back and, and do this. So I wanted to drop off supplies. I'm trying to figure out where I should put them. I did bring some chests, so let's uh, go ahead and deploy those. Oh, switch back to this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And yeah, and then I can put the slabs down in here. Yeah. Okay, good. And um, and then this layer, the top layer. Oh, this is the roof. That's why nothing's spawning up there because I slabbed the whole thing. Whoops. Uh, but this layer, this layer doesn't seem to be that active. Now I saw last time I was here, I had a couple. Um, Oh, somebody. So I wonder if all the spawning happened on the layer below and just nothing happened to spawn here or what? I don't know. I had a, um, I have a couple wither skeletons spawn in here. So I know that they can. Right. And then this is the main layer where I just beat up all the, the withers. Um, sorry, the blazes. Now I slab the ceiling here. So this is two and a half blocks tall of an area. The, uh, the blazes can spawn in here because they only need two blocks to spawn. Ah, okay. Um, so I know that works. Then I'm going to have to come here and finish this up. I will do this off camera because you really don't need to see this. It's, uh, it's annoying. I did discover that up over there, there's another blaze spawner. So I have to decide what to do with that. Um, and this is a little dangerous working in this conditions because a lot of this goes out over nothing and I have to dig through that post and the whole bit. But anyway, it's all good. It'll be fine. So we'll, uh, bottom layer should work. Roof. And I have to, I should decide if I want to make all these empty out into the same place or not okay and for the sake of my sanity i have blocked off the path to the blaze spawner back here because i just don't need to deal with that while i'm trying to construct that's all fine and dandy but um so anyway let's run back over here see if we can avoid let's go well i dropped off all those slabs. Well, let's go just do a little expedition. So I believe the thing was if I went over here yeah, I believe it was over here. So let me dig through here and it was like around here. Oh, okay, it looks good. Good. Hopefully I went through and re-slabbed everything. Oh. I'm a little behind on releasing, editing and releasing videos. I apologize for that if you are trying to keep up with it because, whoa, whoa. I 
I heard a blaze. Did I not? That is a blaze. I still have a potion. Stairs. I wonder if they're... Oh, this must go underneath the spot above, maybe? I don't know. Definitely over here, though. Uh, sounds like it's to the right. <laughs> Keep an eye on the potion. Still got two and a half minutes. Well, this is all slabbed up, that's for sure. Oh, and this goes out over into nothingness. Hey, stop. All right. The blaze spawner. Wait, where am I in relation to everything else? I don't know. Oh, there's a pig man up there. Oh, anyway, to maximize my spawning in the spawner area, I need to do something with all this. Like all this area here is all in the spawning range, and um, I either need to tear it down or slab it up or light it. Although the pigmen will spawn at any light level, so that doesn't really help. I don't hear them. Okay, well, that's interesting. Oops. This way. This way. <coughs> Sorry. All right, so let's go back up. This is why I like putting my little markers. I know exactly where to go. Time to get out of here. Okay. Good. Oh, so let's go take a peek now. Oh, I've got, I've got a blaze down there. That may be what I was hearing. Excellent. Oh, hello, Mr. Magma Cube. Come here. Do you have any cream for me? No. Uh-oh. That sounded bad. That sounded really bad. Was that just a baby zombie? Pigman or... That sounded like somebody got hurt. I don't want them to blame me. That keeps happening. It's not fair, I tell you. Okay, well, let's, uh... There might be some pigment up here on this landing. No. Okay. Well, fortunately, I have a fairly pigman free path back home. Okay. Um, let's put these chests in here. They might become useful. Blaze rods. I have plenty of blaze rods now. At least for now. Okay. Let's go home. And I do need to start putting in some rails here, but I I haven't figured it out, but I need like 10 or 12 stacks of rails and and a bunch of powered rails. That sounded like a normal pig man. Um so it it's a it's a bunch of resources. Now the cave that I was exploring last Sunday, a week ago today, before I had my little version incident. Uh, is a massive it's a it's a it's a cave that intersects with huge abandoned mine shops that intersects with a ravine and it's amazing there's plenty of stuff hey guys hey how are you you guys okay we we good yeah okay good looks like they are that was probably just a baby or something a higher pitch and I misunderstood what it was uh, so I, I had to go back and uh, kind of clean up. Uh, I had to go back and, um, and and sort of redo a lot of what I had done. And I had gotten into this cave system and I had gotten a little um, over... I overextended myself. <laughs> and I didn't leave any markers to help me get out. And I got lost. I got really, really, really lost. Eventually, came back around and re-intersected with um, re-intersected with uh, parts that I had already come across which was good and uh, I cleared out a lot of stuff I found a zombie spawner 
which was kind of cool. So I kept it intact, and I'm I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I may not do anything with it, but I want to dig it out and uh, and 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 sort of preserve it. Uh, but there's a bug in recent snapshots it was apparently fixed last week and the uh, so I'm running 14w27b so last week they released 14w28 a and b there were a lot of bugs on a i tried to open up my creative world and it just crashed on startup which was no good so um and then that spooked me a little bit in conjunction with the fact that is that a problem why isn't the bottom of the portal not lit oh and why am I not keeping flint and steel in my ender chest? That would seem to be kind of a brain dead thing. Okay. Oh, wait. It's daytime. Let's go home. So. <coughs> sorry. Um, so anyway, I don't. Uh, what was I talking about? got distracted by the partially unlit portal. I want to go fix that. Oh yes. So there were there were problems with a previous set of snapshots where they released multiple in a on a on the same day or in the same week because there were bugs and they realized that there were bugs and they wanted to fix it um, which is good um, but it also means that they're getting to a point on the way to 1.8 uh, where they are they're making some pretty significant internal changes and let's grab a couple of these put them over here because it's silly to even think about going into the nether without having a couple of those on hand. Especially when I'm trying to do construction in a spawner that is active. Hey! hey. So, anyway. Um, so I had loaded up a world and saved it. I still got a bit to go here. Okay. Um, I loaded up a world and saved it and then they had a bug where one of like the B snapshot of that week um, saved files in a format that the C snapshot then didn't read correctly they changed the internal save file format or the the IDs of the of items which was no good no good I tell you my bow is about to die Four. It's been about to die for a while. I have a power five ready to go. Another soak touch when this one dies. Okay. Um, sorry. Being silly. And <coughs> not focused. I need my water bucket. So we're going to go down. I'm going to show you the cave. And then we'll call that an episode. <laughs> And I said I was going to cut around, but eh, guess what? I've been talking the whole time, so that's not going to happen. Um, yeah, so the B release, if you saved your world in the B release, which means if you opened it, it got saved in that, in that, in that release. The C release, then half your, half your blocks were just missing because they, they were an unknown block type. No good. Um, fortunately, I had a backup of that, and somebody had a very clever and simple mine, um, MC Edit filter, which uh, fixed the problem, which was awesome. And I'm glad. That's the great thing about having a community like this, is uh, people can fix things faster than Mojang can. And I think Mojang 
didn't even attempt to fix it. They were just like, oh, well, that's the new format. I'm sorry. They're the snapshots. You should keep backups, which is absolutely correct. So, but still a little bit annoying. So, uh, since then I've been a little bit, um, yeah, I've been a little bit weary of, of switching to the new snapshots immediately. I open them up in a, in a world that, in a creative world that if everything goes wrong, that's okay. I can, I can fix it or, you know, whatever. I, I don't need that world necessarily. And, and there have been some interesting problems like this week, the A snapshot crashed immediately when I tried to load the world. It had, apparently had something to do with half slabs and the the uh, random tick speed setting. Um, the default random tick speed setting was apparently a problem. So, anyway, I, I don't know that I entirely accept the explanations that I saw, but uh, regardless, I am... Um, the B seems to work, but there are still some there's still some bugs. Uh, repeaters are screwed up. The, uh, a one tick re a repeater with a one tick delay looks like it has a four tick delay, and vice versa. So I just didn't want to risk things getting screwed up. And there are a few blocks that sort of install backwards and and whatnot, which is fine because they're they're going through and changing the rendering of all the blocks in the game. Um, which is fine. They added some interesting things, like the when you place blocks, they kind of randomly rotate the, or not randomly, but they sort of progressively rotate the texture, so that it, it gives a slightly more randomized look, which is kind of cool. Um, we'll see what impact that has on um, the way things, you know, whether it still looks like Minecraft or not. They added rabbits this past week, which is really cool. I've been wandering around. I haven't been able to find any. Um, I've played around with them, spawned a few in a uh, in a creative my creative world, and they are really really cute. Um, I think there's still some issues that they're they're having to work out with them, but uh, I definitely want rabbits. And um, yeah, so I haven't. I haven't started playing this world in the latest snapshot because there were still a few issues and um, I'm hoping that next week's is a little bit more stable um, but it's clear that oh and, and and they've said on the Mojang blog that they're not doing as much internal testing before they release the snapshot so I they're gonna get more I think they're gonna be buggier as we uh, as we move forward pardon me <coughs> sorry um, so, yeah, where are we at here? Whoops. Hey, back to the game. F3. Uh, we're almost, we're almost there. Sorry, this mine shaft is like 1.2 kilometers long. It's kind of cuckoo. Um... But it's a really, really good area. Here we are. Here's my little stopper. Let's uh, knock it out. Let me give you a quick little tour here. So, big monster cave. Oh, hello, Mr. Creeper. Let me shoot you in the back. Uh, pick up your experience. So, all of, uh, all of this up here... At this level, I've torn it all out. There were abandoned mine shafts running all over the place, and I get myself way down here. Yeah, um, there's caves all up in here. There's abandoned mine shafts running all over the place. Um, and yeah, I can go down here, and then I got a little dead end action up here. I've been trying to thoroughly explore the whole area um, but I've got a huge ravine Let's see what's the best way to get to the ravine um, oh so let me go over here so I made a little temporary forward base forward operating base where I've got some storage of stuff that I've collected 
I have found some interesting things um, and some not so interesting things. Brought down a bunch of wood and, and whatnot. And, and uh, if I go up this way, so here's some more remnants of the abandoned mine shaft, which I haven't entirely cleaned up yet, but there's more of it up here. I've completely cleaned all of this out just as a to make it as safe as possible. What was that? Is that just lava? A creature. Hey, why is this dark? That's a good question, Theron. Well, there's nothing back here, but it shouldn't have been dark. Anyway, so you can see it's very com complicated and convoluted, and you can see why I would potentially get lost. <coughs> and these caves up here kind of squiggle around up around here for a little while, and they end up at a freaking ravine. Seems like a pretty monstrous ravine. So... I've been going through and I haven't cleared out all the resources up here yet, but I've gotten quite a lot of gold and uh, quite a lot of gold, diamonds, emeralds, a lot of good stuff. And dead end. Interesting. So anyway, um, I still haven't cleared, I'm still in the process of actually clearing stuff. So, but this is what I'm working on right now. Uh, and then I have to go through and explore the ravine a bit because I think that's going to be interesting and uh, collect plenty of the resources going forward. So anyway, we're going to call that an episode. Um, thank you for watching. Um, I enjoy doing these. It's a bit of a hobby. Life gets in the way sometimes when you get sick or whatever, but that's fine. Oops, no, need that, need that, go there. Uh, so anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm Theron, and this has been Minecraft Maker, and I will see you next time. All right, bye.